let's start with the first activity of the test process, which is test planning. We know by now that these are the seven test activities. In this lecture, we will understand what are the main activities of test planning. Test planning involves three main activities. Defining test objective. Defining test approach. Updating plan base on feedback. Now let's cover these points one by one. The first main activity of test planning is defining test objective. Here we can answer some important questions such as what to test, how to test, when to test, and etc. Test planning provides a roadmap for the testing activities. For example, in test plan we mention when test analysis will start, when it will end, when the test design will start and when that will end, when the software will be released. We will cover it in more detail in Chapter 5. For the time being, just remember, the first main activities to test planning is defining test objective. The second main activity of test planning is defining test approach. It also includes an approach for meeting test objectives within constraints imposed by the context. We saw previously that testing is context dependent. Testing depends on type of model used, type or level of testing performed, business domain, project and product risk, operational constraints, and etc. Based on what do we test? We need an appropriate test approach and what we select in the test planning stage. Remember, the second main approach of test planning is defining test approach. The third main activity of test planning is updating plan base on feedback. We need feedback because while working, it is possible that we may deviate from the actual plan. That's why we need a feedback mechanism to monitor the progress. Let's understand this point. Now you may ask why should we revisit the test plan as it's already made? Let's understand this. Suppose while testing you find that you cannot achieve the deadline. It could be due to time constraints or complexity of the feature. In that case, we need to revisit test plan to see if we can increase the testing time or if we can increase the resource. To complete testing in the same time, or we go for risk-based testing by keeping time and resource constant. So any time during testing if we get feedback that the planned objective or approach is not feasible, then we need to revisit the test plan and update it. Remember, the third main objective of test planning is update test plan base on feedback. Let's summarize the points. We covered three main activities of test planning. Defining test objective. Defining test approach. Updating plan base on feedback.